Of course, the most vulnerable people are older people usually living in nursing homes. And tonight we know of a third outbreak being reported in Burke County. More than 80 residents, along with three dozen staff members, have already tested positive for COVID-19 in the county. Our Dave Faraday has been closely following outbreaks at congregate living facilities and spoke to one of the residents from this latest outbreak. Well, she described the inside of Carolina Rehab of Burke as a prison, but she told me that's because the necessary steps are being taken here to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We could see Betty Miller as she was picked up by family members after being released from Carolina Rehab of Burke this morning. She was in the facility when more than a dozen residents and one employee tested positive for COVID-19. I'm worried for everybody, to be honest, but, but this, this crew right here, they, they really, they're really sticking to the guidelines. They're really sticking to try to make sure people safe. Miller says she had her temperature checked every day and underwent COVID testing as she recovered from a back injury. The Burke County Health Department says the outbreak started in the first week of July. And since then, every one of the residents and employees have been tested. The health department says there had been 13 deaths in Burke County nursing homes related to COVID-19. When we asked about the outbreak at Carolina Rehab of Burke, we were told there are many sources that can bring this infection into a nursing home, and it can be difficult to pinpoint the exact source. Betty Miller says the health care workers have done a good job of isolating those infected with the virus. She is encouraging everyone to keep those employees safe when they're out in the community by wearing masks. That is a must. Please wear your mask. If not, if not for yourself, work for other people. Keep other people safe. And Carolina Rehab of Burke says they began restricting visitation here in mid-March. They've also been disinfecting the facility and doing health screenings of every employee prior to their shifts. Back to you.